this. And so they're nonverbal ways. So if you're getting up and you will return to finish your food, your napkin goes on your seat. This tells them you will return, don't remove your items. If you're finished eating, your napkin goes on the left of your plate. This tells them you are finished. If all of a sudden you decide that you're just gonna do you and you have to go to the restroom, you're enjoying your food, you have to go to the restroom or take a phone call, you'll be back to finish and you drop your napkin here and when you come back, it's all gone, that means you've told them you're finished. Your napkin should have gone here if you will return, okay? It's very important. If you're in a really nice restaurant, you're speaking to them with your napkin, okay? Very important. If the salt and pepper are on the table and someone asks for the salt, they get the salt and pepper together. The salt and pepper do not separate. Understand, ladies and gentlemen? So don't give them the salt and leave the pepper over there. They're married. You don't want to separate them. So you give them the salt and pepper. If they say, I only asked for the salt, well, proper etiquette is to give you both. That's a little teaching moment, okay? So salt and pepper stay together. If something is being handed to someone, let's say um, the mashed potatoes are over here by you, and you ask for the mashed potato, you then ask, may I please have the mashed potato? Courtesy, politeness, and tact are very important at the table, in general, in life, but especially at the table because you are not supposed to reach over anything. You're not supposed to reach over anyone. You're not supposed to get up and reach for something yourself. At the table, when you have other guests, you need them to hand things to you. So respect, courtesy, politeness, and tact are very important, and class are very important. So if this, the mashed potatoes are mashed potatoes over there and you would like the mashed potato, ask her for the mashed potato. Yeah, please have the mashed potatoes, please. You already said please. So you said please twice in the same sentence. Okay. So may I please have the mashed potato? That's it. Okay? Or may I have the mashed potato, please? Okay? Try it again. May I have the mashed potatoes, please? And you say sure. Sure. Okay, now, the most appropriate direction to hand something to someone is to the right, never to the left. Unless she's at your immediate left, you can hand it to her on the left. But if there's a distance on the left, that's inappropriate. The most appropriate direction is to hand to the right. So therefore, most likely someone will be sitting over here. You would hand it to them, they would hand it to the right and get it to her, okay? Now, when you're handing something to someone or you're passing a dish, you'll pass it to this person, this person will pass it to you, you pass it to her, and you pass it to her. And she gets it and you say thank you. Now, while it's getting to her, the person who requested it, you can't get the brilliant idea that you would like mashed potato and take it on this way, on the way. You can't get the brilliant idea either. It needs to get proper protocol is to get it to the person who requested it. Then you request it and it'll come back to you. Can you imagine if there is only like a small portion of, of mashed potato, she requested it, but you and you decided you want some on the way. What's gonna happen when it gets to her? It's finished and she's the one who requested it. So is that proper etiquette? Absolutely not. So being patient and respectful is very important when you're dining. Not when you're eating, when you're dining. Okay? Got it, ladies? Yes. 